What's up YouTube? Uh, it's James from Buddy Fight Weekly and today I have a deck profile for you guys of the new uh, Raging Spirits deck from uh, Ancient World. Uh, if you don't know what Raging Spirits are, they focus on having a size 3 on the side instead of the center, unlike you know, Dual Seeger and Lattice, um, while having a weapon and you know, a size 0. Uh, my buddy is uh, Dragon Kid Ricky. Um, his ability is uh, nullify all the I'll nullify the lifelink of the Raging Spirits on the field, and he has lifelink 1. Uh, it's really good, I think. Um, yeah, just good stats uh, for a size 0 in general, and plus the nullify the lifelink. Um, so yeah, I run 4 of him. He's a... Uh, Can you see that? Yeah. Um, yeah, 4 Rickies. Uh, he's the only size 0s in the deck. Um, size 0s aren't that important in the deck, I guess. The, the deck focuses on the size 3s, right? Um... And so those are the size zeros. I run four um, Dragon Emperor, Ice Dragon Emperor Glacies. Uh, this nullifies the uh, attacks of monsters if you have a size three on the field. Um, and the Raging Spirits, uh, their abilities are when they're on the field, um, <clears throat> all your opponent's attacks are directed right at them. So like it nullifies like you know penetrate and all that shenanigans. Um, I run two uh, Wicked Dragon. Uh, fabrication uh, demonica. This is just for the uh, spell nullify. For like when you're going for game, you can like triple link for um, like five. <laughs> yeah, you know you go for game. Um, for the size for the raging spirits. While you're all here, is um I got four wicked dragon emperor billion knuckle. This ability is um you. Uh, the call the call cost is uh, two gauge, and you put a top card of your deck into uh, his soul. And uh, when this card enters the field, um, hold on. Oh yeah, when this card enters the field, yeah, you put the top card in the of your deck into his soul. Uh, it has soul guard counterattack and life link too. If you have Ricky, don't bother, don't even think about the life link. Um, and uh, when at when an attack when an opponent's monster. Uh, oh, when an opponent's card attacks, I uh, change the target to this card. So, yeah, he's really strong. He's like a demon go to arc, basically. Except with lifelink. And, but don't worry about the lifelink. Lifelink's alright. Um, so you have four of him. He's really good. Soul guard counterattack, just in general, is I think it's really good. Um, I run four Bash Dragon Emperor Champion Lord. Uh, same thing with, um, with uh, Billion Knuckle. He... Uh, except he just has double attack and lifelink too. So yeah, pay two gauge, no no soul or anything. Um, when an opponent's card attacks, change it to this card. So and yeah, the double attack is you know just for that extra push. Um, I run two uh, ethereal overlord gang the king. He's a uh, pay three gauge. Um, when an opponent's card attacks, uh, you know change it to this card. Uh, if there are uh, if there are um, three or more raging spirits in your drop zone, this card gets plus po uh, power plus uh, six thousand. I only run two because um, it it's like it's more of a finisher. Um, yeah, all you really do is just hit them for five, and then yeah, and then you win, and you, like you can demonic it. Um, but it's more of a finisher than you know a monster you'd keep on the field because it only has four thousand defense. Um, but the 5 crit is, you know, what pushes, you know, for game. What you can even do is, like, have this, Ricky, and, um, and the weapon. And, you know, link for, uh, link for 8 and Demonica. If they have no center. That's kind of OP. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's pay 3 gauge, penetrate, lifelink 2. But don't worry about the lifelink. We'll just say that the entire video. <laughs> Uh, so, and I have one tech, uh, 5th Omni Dragon Lord Tenbu. Um, yeah, you can have one of this card in your deck. Um, so call cost pay 2 gauge when it enters a field, destroy, um, destroy all the monsters on your opponent's field. Which is, uh, pretty good. It's like a dark hole, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, yeah, one Tenbu. And those are all the size 3s, um, and unlike the Seeger build, um, Raging Spirits, you don't have to search for them because they don't have, you know, next form, next form, next form. So you don't really need that. Um, it's okay to not have uh, Makings of a Great Dragon uh, for the search. Um, 
for spells I run three dragon dreams. Um, while I was testing, I really didn't find a need for dragon dreams, but um, it's I think it's just a good heal and good three of. It's not you know super necessary. Like if you were in a, if you were making the decision to charge this or not, you'd probably just need to you just charge it because you have a lot of shields and stuff in this deck. So um, yeah, two rise and fall. You don't really need the cage either because um, your monsters are just you know pay two gauge, pay two gauge, and you can get that in like two turns as long as you like keep them alive. You know that following the turn uh, when you summon them. Um, yeah, two rise and fall. It's not that necessary, but uh, it's just good to have. Um, for Divine Dragon Creation, of course, you, um, you need this card, it's pay two life, draw two cards. You just, you know, it's a good draw power for, like, any um, Ancient World deck. Um, for Dragon Emperor Legends, um, yeah, this card's good too. Basically, it just transforms this card to, into another card, gauge, and one life, so plus one. Um, yeah. Uh, four Wrath Triggers. Um, you kind of want to keep your monster, your size threes on the field, like for as long as you can, until, you know, you can't really do anything about, um, their destruction. But Rat Trigger um, keeps them from being destroyed by like you know Soshi and all that cheap destruction that people have. Um, I think it's it covers one of the greatest weaknesses of um, Raging Spirits is that you know when they pop your um, size three. Like, what do you have left? Like, nothing. So, yeah, Wrath Trigger is good. Um, for uh, Gathering of the Armed Dragons, uh, this card is uh, is basically a Drago Energy for Raging Spirits. But uh, the thing about this card is that um, uh, you can use it on the weapon, too. So if your opponent was attacking you with a weak monster, like, uh, say... Uh, we'll, we'll just stick with the Shinsengumi thing. If you're if they're attacking you with a Kondo, um, you know, play this card on your weapon, and it's like you know they pop your size threes already. Yeah, just play this card on your weapon. Your weapon has six K power and three thousand defense, um, and counterattack. So Kondo is destroyed unless they have Wolf of Mibu. In which case, then you just cry. Um, uh, for Dragon Prudent. This this uh, deck has no cent runs no center, so um, yeah, Dragon Prudent um, is basically just a nullify for uh, those that don't know. It's nullify for Ancient World. No, it's a shield, yeah. And then I run four of the um, four of the weapon uh, sky splitting armor, Masur Um Yeah, this is just a basic. Um, Raging Spirit weapon, I guess. It's a uh, 3,000 power and 2, two crit. Anyway, yeah, the, uh, so that's the deck. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys think. Um, this is still a work in progress, so um, any little bit helps. Um, I'm still testing it, by the way. So, yeah, uh, just let me know um, if you have any suggestions whatsoever. Um, I just know, I know that there's a variant on this. Um, that runs size twos and size ones as well, um, and it's like a dragon lord hybrid. Uh, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, maybe that like, you can run. No, you can't run dragon nine. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys again for you know hundred subs. Can't get over it yet. But um, yeah, have a nice day.